So, you guys, I learned that, um, well, I've already know, I, I learned this in hygiene school, but because I didn't need to use it, I forgot about it. Um, I had angular colitis for a while. Um, you know when you open your mouth too wide, either you're yawning or trying to eat a big cheeseburger, and you end up having like little cuts around your lips, around the uh, commissures, labial commissures, labial commissures, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I learned the term in hygiene school, I don't completely remember it, but I think it's labial commissures around your mouth right here. So I literally had um, cuts that would not heal for the life of me. After a week later, I'm like, is this cut going to heal? It was not healing. The reason why it wasn't healing is because I was lacking some vitamins in my body. I took a vitamin 48 hours later. I was like, didn't I have a cut that was not healing? Like, it took like five days and it still wasn't healing. And I took this vitamin, uh, I took biotin, and then it started healing. So my body was lacking certain nutrients, certain vitamins and nutrients that it needed. So that was what I reviewed. That Because I've already learned this. I knew this in hygiene school, then I forgot. And then... All these little terms just came back to me so yeah the reason why I had these cuts around my lips is because my body did not have enough vitamins in it so yeah that's why that's why so for today's video I'm gonna So, for today's video, I'm going to show y'all what I currently do that's helping my skin. I feel like that has brought it from the previous video you guys saw before, right? Remember that video where I was complaining that my skin would not heal? Like, I had, like, so... I think my skin is looking better. Because, especially this side, it has, like, a little bump. But, it's not bad um, compared to what it usually... Like, this is worse than this side, but it looks better than it has looked in a long time and I'm happy about it. I'm gonna go get some tips from an esthetician today and hopefully she can help me bring my skin all the way together. That is my goal today, is to learn from somebody else who's an expert who's going to help me better my skin because I don't like it looking like that. Even doing makeup with it, I don't want it to look like that. So that's my goal. And I'm gonna show you guys what I currently do and um, yeah, so you guys could see what I currently for my skin, like what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what I currently do at the moment. I wash my face, all right, with the this Castile soap, and then after I wash it, um, I like to wash it two times. Okay, I double cleanse my face with this and that. Okay. I think it's working well. And after I'm done cleansing it, I also like to use this. This is an also the cream cleanser and I leave it on my face for like five minutes and then I rinse it off. And I feel like it's it's still, it's working for me. I, I like this routine because my, my skin used to be a lot worse. So like twice a week, I like to steam my face and use this derma suction because as my face is steaming up and my pores are re are opening I can remove a lot I'm gonna show you guys like the amount of dirt that I've removed from my skin using that method just steaming your face first for like two two three minutes once your pores are open try to like suck out the dirt using this derma suction um, tool okay moving on this is the clay mask that I really like I like using it with apple cider vinegar and that kind, okay? With the mother, I should probably put that here. Okay, y'all, this is what I use, okay? To get my face to be the way it is. Listen, I'm not a dermatologist. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to do this thing the best way I can. That's why today I'm gonna go, I ask for help and show her what I currently am doing. And hopefully she could like give me some advice and like tell me if I'm doing something wrong. 
so I could change up my routine and have better skin. Okay, that's my goal for 2021, okay? To have irresistible skin. <laughs> I don't know if I did this right, but I really want to have great skin. Like, I want to be able to just, like, flaunt my face and not feel like I have, you know, something to be... Well, I'm not embarrassed, obviously, because I'm showing it, but I just want to have that glow that everybody else has. So, without further ado, let me show you guys what I currently do. So if I have a bump, right, if I have like acne that's emerging and it's not like, you know, um, if I feel a bump on my face, I'll put this um, calamine lotion and I feel like it dries it out. So I feel like this technique has been working. I also use this too periodically to, you know, take care of the bumps, um, the new acnes. Okay, so I use these to um, to tone my face. This is a mixture of water and apple cider vinegar with the mother, this, to tone my face. I also like to use the yellow one in Dickinson, the yellow one finish. And I also I purchased the yellow one with the pink one, so that's why I have more of one because I love the yellow one. I love using the yellow one. I don't really like this one as much, but I'm just going to finish it. I recently purchased a lot of Ordinary products because... Um, someone told me that it worked well and um, yeah to just like remove dark circles around your eye. I'm gonna go to an esthetician and ask her for help because I have no idea what to do with my skin like it's looking um, I think it's looking better than it are, than it has in years I've learned a lot I've learned that like you I mean I knew this like people say this you know you know how like you read certain things in text which is like yeah, yeah yeah whatever and if you don't apply those things like, you know, it's just, there's consequences. I mean, I knew I had to take all my vitamins and stuff, but I never really put it into practice and I never connected the, the dots that it's actually, your skin will benefit you taking your vitamins. Listen, I started taking vitamins and my skin improved drastically. I went from this to that. So, um, but I'm still learning. Um, my vitamins, I think, finished like probably two, was it two months ago? Maybe a no, no, not sorry, not two months. Oh, a month and a half ago. And then I was just like, yeah, I finished. Whatever, I'll get another one. And then as I like kept getting these cuts around my lips, and they were not healing. And I'm just like, why am I getting cuts? Five days later, it's still not healed. A week later, it's not healed. And then I started taking my vitamins again. Boom. Forty-eight hours later, they were like, it was completely healed. Something that took like. Seven days and I still I, I was still seeing it at stage one healed within 48 hours because I took my vitamins and I was just like you know what I remember this term it's called angular colitis my teachers were talking about it I read about it in textbooks and I just I knew that it will like I learned that it happens when you're lacking some vitamins in your system and I was just like yeah hey, yeah whatever and then. When I said continue my vitamin, I'm like, oh my god, this this was real. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show you guys what I currently do. 